Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Mac here. Today I'm playing Forza 5. I'm bringing you a glitch, and this glitch actually lets you rent any car in the game in free play mode. So this is basically the try it before you buy it. You can test drive any car you like. There are a few, few limitations, but first I'll teach you how to do it. You'll go to free play mode, you'll go to select a car, and then pick any rental car. It doesn't matter which rental car you pick, just pick a rental car that the game has designated as a rental car. So just for simplicity's sake, I'll pick the first one here. Now go back into the select a car menu, and then go to the buy car menu. And now you can literally choose any car that you wish to drive. If you pick it, uh, press A until you get to the paint menu. So for just for an example, I'll choose this Alfa Romeo. I'll get to the recommended paint designs. Um, and then tap B out back to the free play menu and you'll have this car in the rental slot and you'll be able to drive this car right here as you'll see on my screen in one second. Now there are a few limitations. Um, I don't actually want to use the Alfa Romeo so I'll switch back and you can keep going back and forth. As long as there's a car in the rental slot you can go to buy car and choose any car you like. I'm going to choose the Koenigsegg Ajera because I want to test drive it. It's super expensive. I'm probably not going to buy it anytime soon and I want to see if it's any good. Um, the few limitations there are, you cannot rent DLC cars that you do not have the DLC purchased for. That seems pretty obvious. That's literally only because um, you actually don't have the file on your hard drive to use that car and it doesn't actually exist in your game. Number two, you can't uh, tune or upgrade the car in any way. Unfortunately, you have to drive it stock. Although free play mode will put you against other cars that are uh, similarly ranked to, to you. Uh, another small limitation is you can't paint the car in any way. Um, so again, you can't rent DLC cars you don't own. You can't paint the car or tune the car. You have to use the car stock. Um, but you can literally drive any car that you wish to drive before you buy it. So this is really helpful for people who have a lot of credits and maybe want to buy something like the Koenigsegg Ajera, but they don't want to spend 1.5 million credits to figure out if it's a car that they like um, in which the way it handles. So for example, I actually was considering buying this car, uh, but once you go into the car view, you have this really weird red um, reflection onto the front window that I really don't like. So as an example, this helped me not buy this car. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this glitch only does work in free play mode and when renting a car and or using a car using this rent glitch, you won't earn any XP or any credits towards your driver or towards your bank. So this is literally just the test drive, drive it before you buy it type of glitch, uh, just to let you uh, use any car that your heart desires. So hopefully that does help you guys out. This will help you get a whole bunch of achievements like uh, Red and Blue, Rarified Air, Snake Bite, Spring Break, Le Mans Gold, Indie Gold, Grampy Gold. There's like 15 achievements you can actually get with this glitch. Hopefully that's helpful to you guys. Thanks for watching. As always, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Those are the three things that help my channel grow. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Peace.